So let's get out of the woodlands and start creating our own using a machine tree planter. Well, how was your weekend, Troy? Yeah, it was all right. There's a ton of reforestation potential in Iowa. Let's hit it. Machine tree planters are very helpful in planting hundreds or even thousands of seedlings very rapidly. Troy agrees. As usual, I'll be doing most of the work today. The anatomy of a tree planter. Up front, we got some random weight so we can dig down into the soil. Whoop. There's the chair from the 1950s. Here's the box where we store seedlings and keeping them wet and out of the wind. You're gonna get wet when you ride these things, unfortunately. Got the prep space, and here's where the magic happens. This slot is where we insert the seedling into the furrow. This controls the pressure of the compaction wheel, which makes sure we get good root soil contact. This ingenious and fun little device here is a spacer. It dings at a certain interval when we know we wanna plant the, the seedling at. Here's the cutter, which starts the furrow and breaks the soil up. Then we've got the shoe here that creates a very nice furrow where we can pop that seedling in and be ready to go. Let's do it. I'm gonna find reverse here. Hold on a sec. All right. These things are heavy, so make sure you've got a decent tractor when using these. Cutter breaks down into the soil, breaking it up, and that shoe creates a very nice furrow. This is the beauty of having a prepped site, which we've got a video on. But you can really see that soil breaking up nicely, and that really speaks to the, the prep that was done in this field. There's the cutter, there's the shoe, there's the tension on the compaction wheel, there's the slot where our seedlings are going to go. So this takes the place of hours of work with a shovel. A little bit more setup, though. If you've got 50 or maybe even 100 trees, this isn't really that practical. If you've got 5,000 trees, this is almost essential uh, if you're in an open area for an efficient planting. There's the furrow with the compaction wheel. Now Troy doesn't dig the pressure on the compaction wheel here, so he's going to adjust that. It's really critical, just like hand planting, to adjust the machine and the weight and the tension to get that shoe down deep enough or shallow enough to match that root system. How many PhDs does it take to, okay. Before you get started on these, you really gotta separate out your seedlings into species and get those roots untangled. All the while minimizing the time they're in the sun and the wind. And just like hand planting, you really need to check the depth of your machine with the extent of the root system. They gotta match up. You don't want them too shallow, you don't want them too deep. A lot of times you're maxing out depth with the machine, and you're gonna have to prune the roots. If you're gonna prune, do it at the minimum to meet the desired depth. Don't go overboard. You can see there how deep we're going just by the pattern of the soil on the blade. There's the root flare, the collar that you wanna aim for. Can I get on? Oh baby. I've got my pruners to the right and I'm just gonna take out as much as we're gonna use in one pass because I don't wanna expose these roots to the sun and wind. So these can be a, a pain to untangle. So kind of get them ready, get them prepped beforehand because you're going to be moving along uh, and you really need to be efficient in grabbing these and getting them in the ground. So I match this up with the blade. I'm going to cut a little bit off so it fits. So I got three species here. So I want to make sure that my plan is in place. I know I'm going to plant a number of some species followed by the second species and the third. So I've got one pass prepped and ready to go. At each ding, I'm gonna put the seedling in that slot. Look at that furrow. These are pretty fun to ride, if you can imagine. Future forest here. Ding! 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 You get the point. Ding! I'll be sick here, hold on a sec. Do a couple trial runs real quick, just to see if you're getting the depth right. If you're getting the soil root contact right, you're getting your speed right. So this one's way too deep. Here's the ding. The compaction wheel's doing its job. As you see here, I'm goofing up a little bit. I'm a little rusty, so it really is important to follow up on this row, and if needed, manually replant these things or adjust them uh, for height and depth if needed. Ah, see? I was way off. That's way too high. Very bad. These will need fixing. Ugh. Exposed roots, very, very bad. Troy's watching, he does not agree. 
soil root contact. Makes me very happy. I think Troy's on his phone. If you're messing around too long, be sure to re-moisten these things. The patented Troy tractor tire technique. I can say that fast. If you're skilled, and Troy is very skilled, you can use this technique to add insurance that you've compacted the soil around the root system. If you ding a couple of these, it's not ideal, but they are very young and flexible. It's got some precision here. I like this. He actually has his eyes closed at this point. He's that good. What do you think? Instant forest. Some good action there. Very pliable young seedling. Boom. Machine tree planting. We'll see you soon in your newly planted woods.